It is official! Garrett Adelstein is back! Starting next week on Wednesday, he is scheduled to play on his first two live streams since the Jack 4 offhand versus Ravi J. Lou over a year ago now. Garrett started to hint at this when he first tweeted, quote, after not watching or playing a hand for over a year, recently my mindset has shifted. I miss the competition. I miss the strategy. I miss taking souls. I miss gambling. Telling the dealer one time versus my nitty pro opponents. I miss poker and I'm ready to battle. DMs are open. He would later follow this up with, quote, announcements for multiple stream appearances in the very near future coming ASAP. I don't take for granted that I still play in big poker games, partly because you all tune in. My drive to get back out there stems in large part because of all of your support. Now, let's get them. And finally, just yesterday, quote, play zero hands for over 14 months, then hop in 300, 600 plus with at Andrew Robel. What could go wrong? Dim, it feels good to be back though. Catch you next Friday afternoon. Seems ill-advised to miss this one. I am obsessive about poker. Playing my very best every session, every hand. Ah. Garrett is too smart for that shit. Oh, a snap call. Wow. Oh, Garrett. Showing that he's a beast. Once again, Garrett playing on a clinic all day today. Oh, that was just, uh, just another, just another perfect play. <laughs> Eric Person must have seen this and said, Garrett's making his return with WPT on Friday? Nah, fuck that. Getting him to play on his new live stream at the Tropicana in Vegas, Bally's Live Poker, aka previously Live at the Bike, earlier on Wednesday of the same week. This lineup also looks really good with Eric Person, Andrew Robo, Patrick Antonius, and Santosh already scheduled to be there. Where's the invite for Nick Airball? That would be just perfect. There was speculation for a long time on where G-Man would make his grand return to first. I am a bit surprised it wasn't at the Lodge in Texas. I think Doug Polk is a master marketer and he could have really hyped this thing up and done the best job, but maybe it was just a matter of better timing with the WPT currently being in Vegas and just being far more convenient for Garrett who lives in LA. Besides the obvious of still thinking he was cheated, why has Garrett been gone for so long? He addresses this when saying, quote, without question, part of the reason I have avoided streaming poker stems from a serious concern about game integrity. What I'm hoping for most and something several streams like Bally's and The Lodge have incorporated is a nearly trustless system where the real-time whole cards are not seen by anyone, including ownership. When a streaming company has a multitude of low-paid employees with this access, especially if they are, say, lifelong criminals, it's only a matter of time before we see the next Robbie or Apostle scandal. Seems he is taking a dig there at Hustler Casino Live, who hired the now unheard from Brian Sagbigsal. I just still can't get over that last name. Who was found to have taken 15k from Robbie's stack the night the hand took place. What is also interesting about Garrett's return is that he is claiming to have gone completely cold turkey in the time that he has been away. 15 straight months of not playing poker. Could you do that? Quote, I've played zero poker, nor have I studied at all. I took a completely clean break from the game. Now I guess this makes sense as he did have his first child during this time, which certainly kept him busy. Garrett continues saying, quote, no doubt I will be very rusty when I hop back in the mix, but I love this shit. I'm built for it and I'm confident I'll get back into some form soon enough. Rest assured I'll be in there swinging for the home run ball and ready to put on a show on hand number one. Subscribe and stay tuned to see if Garrett lives up to the hype next week or not. He seemingly still has many fans while also having many haters who think he still owes Robbie the money he got back from her. One guy has even gone so far as to make a sign and stand outside of Hustler Casino Live all day, every day. And the reason I'm doing it is because I think she's a victim. I watched it when it happened, uh. you know, live at the live stream. And uh, to me, it was the most beautiful thing in the world to see somebody beat somebody like Mr. Adelson who tried to bluff with eight high and she called with jack high. I thought it was, it was, it just made my day. It made my uh, year. It was the best thing I ever seen on TV. You really cannot make this stuff up.